Being very entitled and controlling, narcissists have no difficulty stepping all over your personal boundaries, so that's why I put together an extensive video class called This Is Me. It has 25 videos, written documents, guided questions. I'm gonna teach you how to have healthy boundaries. There's a link below, and I hope you'll find it to be quite therapeutic. One of the most agonizing kind of comments that I receive from individuals who are on the backside of a relationship is they'll look back and they'll shake their head thinking, it did not turn out anywhere close to what I thought it was going to be originally. You know, whenever we uh, engage with narcissists, we're not necessarily aware that that's, how, that's uh, where they're coming from first. They can, they can present themselves as being pleasant and friendly and engaging and wanting to uh, hang with you. Only over time, though, their negatives begin to appear, and boy, when they appear, they become uh, stronger than you might have originally thought they would be. I mean, whenever we get to know folks, we're going to put our best foot forward, uh, uh, particularly in the beginning. But then over time, the real self begins to show up. Narcissists, though, are so committed to the false self that what you see up front is not at all a good indicator of what's truly going on behind the scenes. Narcissists are interested in relating with you based on what they can gain from you. We call that uh, them seeking their narcissistic supply. And it's only over time that their intentions are revealed. Now, how many times can you look back with that uh, relationship with a narcissist thinking, well, it was gonna be one way when in fact it turned out to be something entirely different and then you begin thinking, I was played. I was being uh, treated like uh, a nice person, but uh, in, in, the, in the mind of that narcissistic individual, they really thought of me as being a fool. And sometimes you feel foolish for having gone along with that narcissistic individual. Have you ever felt that way? Now, what I want to do is I want you to see that you're being gaslit and that's part of what they want to do. They want to portray themselves as something other than what they are, but in doing so, they want to create confusion in you about what you're actually perceiving. And I want to see if I can come up with 10 of the most common signs that you are indeed being played for a fool by that narcissist. The more you're able to see this and, and recognize it for what it is, then you're able to make uh, much healthier uh, decisions regarding the relationship than what they uh, would uh, presume that you would based on their uh, initial intentions towards you. Now, the first sign that I want us to look at is uh, narcissists will appeal to their own positive traits and grossly minimize any of their mistakes and flaws. Now, I just mentioned that it's, it's only natural that we show our, uh, the positive side of our relationships typically first, uh, and, and that, that's okay. Uh, and narcissists, though, when they do that, it's like, well, I, I'm, I'm going to let you see the things about me that are really pretty, uh, pretty special, pretty good, and then I don't want to really get into all of my hurts and pains, and, and there's a, a man, an amount of a discernment that needs to go along with that, but it's like, no, I just don't do that. Uh, you are going to hear about the good things. And if you, if I talk to you about my negatives, it's going to be more in a complaint kind of session. And I'm just going to talk to you about how I was done dirty, but they don't, really don't have a sense of vulnerability. And when you see that, then you realize, okay, this person is trying to create an image that's favorable, but it's not, it's not accurate. It's not real. In other words, a lack of authenticity. A second primary indicator that you're being played is they can be friendly toward you as a reward for you doing what they want you to do. So now I'm under the assumption that anybody can be friendly when things are going their way, but there, there's a sense of decency and civility you can have. And if things go your way, that's wonderful. And if they don't, you can still maintain your decorum and, uh, and, and uh, treat people with a certain amount of regard and respect no matter what. Narcissists, however, think, well, you have worth to me and I'll continue to treat you as a, a person of worth as long as you keep proving yourself to be useful to me. And so it's all very conditional, although up front that friendliness seems to be so appealing. 
but there's a hook on the backside of it. A third indicator that they're playing you is you'll notice over time when you engage with that narcissist, they want the favored position. Now, this can be in such simple kinds of things. I mean, it can be at a social event and they want to be favored by where they sit or who they're introduced to, or in a work setting, it's like, I, I want the, the glamour jobs, I want the jobs that's gonna make me look good, and I don't wanna have to do all the grunt work over here. Inside of family relations, they wanna be the friendliest and the one that tells the best story, and, and, and as a result, they want to be the one that everybody looks to and says, there, there goes a good person. And, and again, there's a certain amount of that that's normal, but um, basically, there, there's an attitude of deservedness. You know, it's not that I, I want the favorite position because you know normal things. I deserve it, and, and I'm I'm better than you people out there. And and I want to make sure that you understand that I don't do uh, some of the uh, the menial kind of things that other folks probably need to do in my presence. Now, a fourth indicator that you're being played is that whenever you start talking about personal problems the defensiveness that arises in the narcissist can be irrational. Uh, narcissists are known to deflect attention away from the conf confrontations that you make. Uh, they'll do a lot of blame shifting. If you say, hey, there's something that I, I think we need to examine here and we look at there, and you, you can be very diplomatic in the way you talk with them, and they can just come at you with a, a wall of defense, justifying, rationalizing, blame shifting, and turning it back around onto you. I call it the boomerang communication. That's an indicator that says they're not really wanting to have a two-way dialogue with you. It's like, didn't you get the memo? <laughs> You're supposed to hold me in high regard, and we don't talk about my negatives. Or a fifth indicator that you're being played by that narcissist is, sure enough, these individuals are critical, and at first, they'll find fault in other individuals easily, and they'll kind of bring you in sort of like a confidant and talk with you about the things that are bothersome to them, only for you to find out later on, you're next. Uh, for a while, you can be in the favored position, and so you may not be on the receiving end of their criticisms, but when you realize that these individuals are pretty, um, uh, it's pretty easy for them to go into that critical space. It's like, well, once the shine wears off in the relationship with you, you're going to be the recipient of their critical thoughts and comments and responses. Now, a sixth indicator that you're being played is they have an unwillingness to be truly accountable to anyone. And when I say unwillingness, they're offended if uh, you want them to be accountable. For example, where you know, how they spend their time or how they manage their money or who they're with. The narcissists, over time, you realize, keep a lot of secrets. It's like there's certain things about me you're just not going to know. And if you try to uh, stick your nose into my business, I'm going to let you know, uh, uh we don't do that. And it's like, well, why is it that if we're going to have a relationship that you're so unwilling to just simply have a sense of accountability and let me know who you are and where you are? It's like, no, I don't do that. And evasiveness is a prominent theme that they eventually show. Now, a seventh indicator that they're playing you is these individuals, and this kind of goes right along with what I just said, they love to play games with truth. They'll give you half-truths. Let me give you an illustration. A, a woman uh, spoke with me, and she said, uh, you know, of course, I hear all sorts of confessions from people. She said, well, my, my, my husband, my ex-husband, uh, had a serious temper. And one of the things I, I found out was, well, she had a history of having had extramarital affairs. Okay, this guy may have had a temper anyway, uh, but then when she, of course, and she failed to tell me that, I found out through another means. It's like, well, okay, he had a temper, and yes, uh, that's true. But then you failed to mention that, well, you were a rather difficult person, and you had your own issues, and you're not coming to terms with that. That's what I mean when I say they play games with the truth. They'll let you know things that are uh, convenient for, uh, for themselves to come out looking good, but then uh, they don't really tell the entire amount of truth, something like that. Now, an eighth indicator that you're being played by a narcissist and that is, it's almost impossible to discuss conflicts with these individuals. If you have tensions or if you have needs that you want to be addressed that haven't been addressed well or there are disagreements, their starting point when, when, that, uh, when that shows up is, you're trying to make me look bad, aren't you? And I'm not going to have you telling me what to do. 
And, and you're thinking, this is not about me trying to make you look bad or being bossy or telling you what to do. We have a difference here and I'd like to discuss it. And over time, they show themselves incapable of doing that because of their control and their entitlement, all that narcissism. You're being played and that's another indi indicator. Now, another, a, a ninth indicator that you're being played is narcissists are quite willing to speak poorly about you behind your back. So many times the narcissist will butter you up and they'll make you think, oh, I'm, I'm on your team. <laughs> I've got a big supporter of yours. And then you learn from other sources, they didn't say very flattering things about you when they had the chance or they were complaining about you and didn't speak to you directly. What's that all about? And what it indicates is they're not committed to honesty. They're committed to their own agenda. And whenever you get in the way, they're, they're actually grooming other individuals to take over for when you fail, which leads us to a 10th indicator of them playing you. And that is narcissists are constantly canvassing the, the crowd, if you will, for someone better than you. Uh, it's it, how many times have you heard things like, uh, well, I, I actually could find someone better than you, or uh, they compare you to someone else. Why can't you be more friendly like that person or more reliable like this individual over there? And th they've always kind of had this notion that says, I can do better than you. One of these days it's going to happen. Now, over time, I'm, I'm thinking that uh, as you uh, spend more and more time with these narcissists, these kinds of signs and indicators begin to show up and you begin thinking, there's something in my gut that's telling me this is not good for me. Uh, and then uh, sure enough, as you see these things that I'm mentioning, you realize I'm being played, I'm being gaslit. Know that when they treat you in this kind of way and they want you to have doubt about your uh, interpretations, that's part of it. So you're gonna need to learn to listen to your gut. When you see these kinds of signs, not just once, but m multiple times over, you realize that these are individuals who are stuck in pre-adolescent thinking. They're little game players like schoolyard children. They're pervasively insecure. They're not really interested in you beyond your usefulness to them in the moment. They see commitments as a one-way street, you being committed to them, but not vice versa. One way or another, you are going to become expendable. So I'm, I'm hoping that as you see these signs, you can draw the conclusion, I'm being manipulated. I'm being played for the fool, and there's a reason that I feel as uncomfortable as I do. I need to listen to my intuition, because you know what? The narcissist is definitely not going to listen to what you're feeling. Now, uh, I, I hope that uh, videos such as this can give you some good things to watch for. Knowledge is power, and the more you're able to see it, then the more you're going to realize I'm not the crazy one in this situation. Uh, if you've not already hit that subscribe button, uh, please do so. Hit the like button, too, and we'll keep more videos coming in your direction. If you have a need for therapy, and I know that so many times uh, when you're trying to unpack this, it could be, uh, you could have it on your mind. I could use somebody that could help me objectify this and, and get a good sense of what's going on. I'm so pleased to be sponsored by the people at betterhelp.com. There's a link below that will take you to their website. There's a whole team of licensed professional therapists that could assist you online. It's very affordable and accessible. Uh, go through that link if, if the need is there. In addition, I do have my therapeutic courses and these are very extensive. Uh, for example, we have uh, Ready, Set, Connect about connecting well with others. Uh, this is me about establishing your boundaries, which is so necessary. And that's my most popular course. And then Free to be about finding yourself. Each course has multiple videos, written documents, guided questions. We also have my webinars, our Surviving Narcissism podcast, our website with many articles, and my books, plenty of resources. And I, I so appreciate you letting me be on your journey with you. Narcissists over time cannot completely conceal who they really are, and over time they're going to show their real colors, and then it's going to lead to that uh, very frustrating kind of uh, uh, response from you thinking, I really did get played. But uh, once you see it, I hope that it positions you to say, I'm moving on to, uh, to individuals who are much healthier. I'm going to be healthier than that. And in doing so, I hope that you're going to be positioned to become a person of peace. I so want you to have your peace.